Hello everyone, in this video I will share my Google Keyword Ranking Report template um, that works on based on Google Search Console data and uh, built in the Looker Studio. Yeah. So uh, I already have the tutorial about uh, Google Search Console uh, Looker Studio template and this is the same template but in this video I would like to you know, work uh, from the like to see on the template from the another side from the keyword ranking side yeah and um, the problem why we should create this template is that Google Search Console interface is very limited uh, you can get uh, answers for many important questions there or you should spend much time in the search console to find these answers and right now I will ask the specific uh, questions that usually the digital marketers and website owners and SEO experts uh, ask themselves when they work with search console data and I will try to explain how the, uh, this template answers this question in a better way so the first question is how many unique keywords are my site and specific pages rank for and how does it number change over time so um, it's interesting that in search console we have a, a count of keywords per page and per website yeah you can find them in the below in the table but it's not the same as uh, in the graph yeah and you also have the, some limitation in the table it's only show uh, 1000 keywords and that's all so uh, we can but we can view this in the looker studio yeah for that i created the custom metric uh, called uh, ranked keywords and here we just count uh, the unique values of the parameter query from search console that help us to uh, count the um, unique keywords here yeah, per page or per website and we also have the uh, uh, chart with that uh, so uh, you can what's important you also can filter this value by page and view for example uh, how the count of keyword change over time for the page unfortunately uh, in this uh, search console there is uh, th there exists a limitation for uh, by amount of keywords they, uh, that uh, you can count only 5000 keywords you can uh, count and so if your website rank for more than 5000 keywords in this chart you will see only 5000 and that's all to view like to understand your specific segments of the website and landing pages use the uh, like apply more filters to research your changes in your rank keywords yeah uh, so the next question is uh, how many more clicks can my site get for all the keywords it ranks for if it ranks in the top one for all these keywords yeah so for example we have the landing page that rank by some 1100 uh, keywords five keywords uh, ranked on the number one position and others on the run, uh, number 10 20 and so on so the question is uh, to understand the potential of the traffic of this page yeah how many keywords I will, uh, how many tra uh, traffic I will get if I will, uh, all of these 100 keywords will be ranked on the number one position. And to cal calculate it, this I created also the custom metric, it's called lost clicks. So we just um, uh, multiply impressions to 0 0.2, that's uh, like uh, CTR for the first position. In fact, uh, the average CTR is around 0 0.3 like 30 percent yeah of the first position if we uh, um, calculate every CTR for uh, all industries uh, all uh, type of queries and so on but I use uh, 0 0.2 uh, just for like uh, to be more pessimistic about how uh, many clicks you can get yeah and yeah then we uh, uh, minus you uh, the existing clicks to understand the potential yeah because you already can uh, have many keywords in uh, number one position and you, your page uh, may have many URL clicks so we just want to know the how many clicks we can add yeah so this also the metric that uh, search console does not have in the own interface uh, then the third question how uh, the positions uh, how have the position for the top 10 keywords on a particular page change over time and for this uh, to answer this question we need the separate uh, page that's called keyword rankings and here um, i can 
you choose the specific uh, page let's say how to check my, this is my my website and my landing page here how to check website traffic and let's see how the um, position by top 10 keyword change over time uh, here also can be the question how we uh, define top 10 position yeah so usually I define them by uh, impressions or URL clicks but you can uh, find uh, you can change the metric here yeah so by default we have the mm, yeah so here the it's uh, this table is uh, sorted by impressions uh, oh no it's by potential run yeah it's by potential run but you can change it when you will uh, copy the report you can change it and sort by impressions or clicks and so on so yeah and in this useful graph I can uh, what's important I can as uh, view the um, top 10 rankings for the landed page but I also apply I also may apply the filters by specific keywords and view uh, only them let's uh, um, choose another another page for example Google Analytics Recently, I updated this page, and uh, there should be more changes visible on the top uh, top rankings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in Search Console, you can uh, like navigate. Uh, you can add a keyword and uh, view the average position. You also can use um, a, a regular expressions there, but it's not as easy as it works in the Search Console uh, report is a looker studio report yeah so and yeah, on a bigger time scale you can get even more uh, insights let's wait a little bit So it's like the free keyword rank tracker, yeah. Uh, there is a. It's not the real rank tracker because you don't have the uh, data about the comp competitors in SERP, but uh, featured snippets. Uh, you also have uh, data only two days ago. You can't uh, measure the your rankings for the existing day, but it's still good enough, like a basic version of a free rank tracker template. Yeah, and you see, like, uh, in some time I updated this landing page, I added uh, more content, and I started ranking for more keywords here. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, uh, some of the keywords were grow, some down. Yeah, there were many an animals here. Uh, okay, and um, the next question is, how can I group all my keywords by page? It's uh, also the pain I have in the search console um, because um, sometimes I like would understand uh, uh, which keywords on which page, uh, which um, like to view the whole cluster of uh, keywords per specific page to understand if uh, there are um, if there are available maybe some non-relevant keywords for this page and maybe I need to create a separate page for these keywords yeah uh, so for that uh, we have the uh, specific uh, report in the uh, in this template so all of them are grouped yeah you see and all the metrics uh, all the keyword metrics also available here and if you need uh, yeah and by, by default I place here only like top 10 keywords per landing page but you also can change it and display 100 keywords and you can sort them not by impressions but by clicks and so on and if you need to work with that uh, with, uh, in a more flexible way you can just uh, click on the export and export your CSV on Google Sheets okay and uh, the next question is uh, how can I find the low uh, hanging fruits among all keywords yeah, and let's say, uh, let's go to the general dashboard. So, uh, the question is how to define low hanging fruits. Yeah, and I created uh, lost metrics, uh, lost clicks is already um, the 
one of the metrics we can uh, understand on which keywords we should work yeah but sometimes uh, lost click is not um, irrelevant because the web uh, the landing page can have uh, many more uh, lost clicks but it's too difficult to get these clicks for different reasons it's very uh, complicated uh, keywords here you need many backlinks and so on so that's why i created the metric potential rank that's why it's a little bit why the uh, while the report will load it so uh, yeah and the potential rank it's also the custom metric that uh, helps to understand the uh, biggest how big the value you can get and how close you to this value yeah so you can see the potential run and to calculate this I just divide impressions on the clicks yeah it's a custom metric I just divide it so the, the biggest impressions the biggest value you can get the lowest is average position the closest you are to this value yeah so this means that uh, usually you should just sort your keywords by potential rank let's wait a little bit and start working with uh, keywords step by step yeah if you see like the keyword with the biggest potential rank this means that on this keyword you should work it first uh, yeah and yeah usually it means that uh, you should work on the landing page level not the keyword level yeah but it's also the understanding which backlinks you should build the first which anchors you should use in the uh, internal links and so on too many data for in the table yeah so you see that uh, i should work on the website traffic checker keyword on my uh, blog because i have the uh, 20,000 impressions for this keyword and already the 38 position uh, and also like which uh, let's say let's try to right now I see that the most of the keywords are about the my website traffic checker or landing page but let's dive into some keywords and try to find some keywords that are very close to the top yeah for example uh, for example almost of them are on the ah i'm just forget that i use the filter that's a problem let's see on the site level yeah it's awful that uh uh, Looker Studio download data so long and in fact my blog is uh, not a big website it has only 50 pages yeah now and there are not too many keywords uh, so uh, on the bigger website it can be even worse yeah but uh, yes so it's better maybe to use for like some monthly reporting because working the every day you can touch uh, yeah, waiting for so, so much data for so long yeah so and now uh, yeah you see that uh, I have the keyword with the biggest uh, potential called YouTube dashboard mm. and let's wait a little bit Yeah, so uh, I guess you got the, how it works. So just sort the keywords by potential rank and start working with the keywords you have that have the biggest potential. Uh, okay, the next question is how can I filter search performance data by many keywords? So um, the problem is that uh, in Search Console you can set up filter by many different keywords, but uh, you should use regular expressions for that purpose. That it's not. Uh, um, uh, 
not everybody know how to use them and you can set up one filter and then include or exclude filters yeah so for me it means that i can set up a filter like to see the data for uh, some cluster of keywords yeah and when i will use that filter another filters will be also filtered based on this data based on, based on this value yeah so for example now i filter like display me display for me only the landed pages that contains the services in the url and then let's wait a little bit yeah you see the filter changed and i can even dive deeper into uh, which uh, uh, landing page i would like to uh, see yeah so it's very easy and you can do that in search console and the last question is how can i compare the dynamics of search metrics by all keywords um, for different periods so in search console you can uh, co uh, create the a simple comparison yeah you just create like new uh, no uh, date and you compare compare last few months and apply uh, the problem yeah if you have it's great that you have the mm, simple table and it, what's important you also can sort uh, data by uh, difference but the problem that it's not um, as easy as in the search console where uh, for example you can view data by so I set up different time periods so you can quickly uh, oh no let's um, hear that uh, already some de predefined periods where you can quickly research uh, for which period you grow for which you down yeah for example we, the first we have the custom date range that uh, so it's mean that uh, the calendar value applied to the table so this table is flexible and there are there are static tables for, uh, like data for the last seven days for the last 30 days 90 and 180 so it's much easier and also it's important we have the conditional formatting here that it means it's very uh, easily work with data because uh, colors help you to uh, find anomalies and you don't have that in search console yeah so all of these questions are answered in looker studio template better than in search console but it's still that it's not a replacement for the search console but extension for that yeah so thank you for hearing me and write a, a, any questions if you have to the to this template uh, thank you